There's an educational campaign in Clark County right now about the importance of naloxone. It's helping save lives and reduce opioid overdoses. Joining us this morning is Jamie Ross, Executive Director of PACT Coalition for Safe and Drug-Free Communities. Good morning, Jamie. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Of course. So let's dive right in. Talk to me about what PACT does. So we focus on preventing substance use and preventing overdose, and that's really why we're working on our Narcan or Naloxone campaign uh, to focus on reducing overdose deaths and increase those who are uh, surviving and able to get access to the services that they need. Wonderful. And so what are some of the ways, you know, programs, uh, different ways that you're sharing that awareness but also helping to alleviate that? So we are really focusing right now on increasing education. Uh, one of the things that we know is uh, naloxone or Narcan is not very well known within our community. So we're really educating our community on what an opioid overdose looks like and why everyone, you and I included, should be carrying naloxone in our purses, in our backpacks, uh, for our friends, our family, and our congregations. Absolutely, and you know, you are correct in that because I myself didn't know about this. So I think it's very important uh, to talk about what it does. So can you shed some light on that for us? Sure, it will temporarily reduce an opioid overdose. So this is for if someone accesses uh, any opioid, whether that is something that they're prescribed by their doctor, whether this is heroin, whether this is fentanyl in another drug that they're using, this will temporarily reduce an overdose. Uh, the important thing is that this is temporary and we still need to call 911 um, mm -hmm. because someone will need to go to the hospital, uh, but this will save a life and that's something that we know is our first responders while they are quick on the scene mm -hmm. they are not as quick as us having something in our pockets to save our friends lives that's right you know I learned that from my mother she's in the medical field in terms of first responders because we all know them to be you know when you dial 911 who's coming immediately but really it's who's there in that moment um, who's the technical first responders, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And so the quicker we can reduce an overdose, um, that is a time when someone is still breathing, when mm -hmm. their heart is still beating, and that is what will save their life. Absolutely, so how does someone go about having this? You know, what's, what's the rule of thumb? What are the sort of the safety as in precautions about purchasing this? Who can get it? Talk to us a little bit about that. So uh, it is able to be purchased over the counter um, or if you are worried about funds because it is unfortunately not cheap, there is grant funding and you can go to our website which is pactcoalition.org and you can find places to get it anywhere in Las Vegas for free or no cost. Oh wow. So yes, our goal is to get this into the hands of as many community members as possible. Absolutely. So this is something you're saying should be in our first aid kits. Absolutely. Absolutely. This should be something that is in your purse. Uh, this is something that should be with your person at all times when you're out and about in the community. Absolutely. And so the the rule of thumb is, you know, and, and I'm sure you guys help people because you said you educate, right? So you're, Absolutely. you're also teaching us those signs, I imagine, right, of what to look for and when to know, okay, it's time to give someone that. Absolutely, yes. So if you are with someone and you know that they might be using drugs, one of the things that we know is fentanyl is in a lot of our drug supply, even if we aren't aware of it. Uh, so shaking them, if someone is what we call nodding out and they are sleepy and they are unresponsive, we should be shaking them, we should be yelling their name. Uh, and the wonderful thing about Narcan is we know that it saves lives and it doesn't have any significant negative side effects, especially in comparison to death being, right. if we don't use it. Right, right. Uh, so uh, it's very simple to use. It's a nasal spray. You just put it in someone's nose and shoot it like you would the nasal spray that I use for my allergies in the morning. And then you call 911 immediately after and they can ensure that that person is able to get the help that they need. Wonderful. Jamie, thank you so much for coming in this morning and talking to us about this. Um, you've certainly educated me even uh, in just this little bit, so thank you. Find Naloxone in Nevada by using the online overdose reversal medication finder. Head to the website right there on your screen.